Welcome to the spoken tutorial on design a visiting card using Inkscape. In this tutorial, we will learn settings for a visiting card, designing a visiting card, settings to print multiple copies of the visiting card. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 OS, Inkscape version 0.48.4. Let us open Inkscape. Go to File. Click on Document Properties. Change the default units to inches and the default orientation to landscape. Let us now start designing the visiting card. So, draw a rectangle using the rectangle tool. Click on the selector tool. On the tool controls bar, change the width to 3.5 and height to 2. Move it to the top left corner of the canvas. Change the color to dark green. Let us design a pattern now. Select the Bezier tool and draw a wavy line. Go to object menu. Open fill and stroke. Change the stroke color to yellow. Now draw a straight line below the wavy line. Select both the lines. Go to extensions menu. Click on Generate from Path and then on Interpolate. Check if the exponent value is 0. Change the interpolation steps value to 30. Click on Apply button and then on Close button. Notice the interpolation effect is now applied. Let us give some glow effect to the interpolate design. Select the design. Go to Filters menu. Click on Shadows and Glows and then on glow. Observe the glow effect is applied to the design. Let us import the spoken tutorial logo now. I have saved it in my documents folder. The logo has been given to you in the code files link. Go to file and click on import. Resize the logo and keep it on the top left corner. Let me copy the visiting card details from a LibreOffice Writer file that I had saved already. This file has been given to you in the code files link. Change the font size to 12 and the text color to white. Select the spoken tutorial word, change the font size to 16 and make it bold. Now our visiting card for spoken tutorial is ready. Next, we will learn to create multiple copies of the visiting card. We can do this by cloning method. For doing that, we should first group all the elements. Press Ctrl plus A to select all the elements and Ctrl plus G to group them. Now, go to Edit menu, click on Clone and then on Create Tiled Clones. The Create Tiled Clones dialog box opens up. Under the Symmetry tab, Change the number of rows to 4 and the columns to 3. Now click on create button and then close the dialog box. Notice that multiple copies of the visiting card appears in the canvas. In this way we can print multiple copies of the visiting card. Turn your attention to the visiting card at the top left. Click on it and move it from its position. Now delete this card as it is an extra copy. What if there are some changes to be incorporated? Will we have to change each and every copy of the visiting card? Not at all. We will have to make the correction only in the original visiting card. The same will be reflected in the copies. Let's try this. Double click and change the color of the word spoken tutorial to brown on the original card. Observe the changes are reflected in all the visiting card copies. Now. Let us save the file. Press Ctrl plus S to save the SVG file. I will choose desktop as the location to save my file. And I will type st-visiting-card as the file name and click on save. After this, we will save the file in PDF format. Once again, go to file and click on save as. Change the extension to PDF and click on save. Change the resolution to 300 
Click on OK. Let us go to the desktop. Here is the file that we had saved. Let's open it. Here are the visiting cards that we created. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about settings for a visiting card, designing a visiting card, settings to print multiple copies of the visiting card. Here is an assignment for you. Create a visiting card with your name, your institute or organization name, your institute or organization logo, your institute or organization website address. The video available at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is supported by the NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. We have come to the end of this tutorial. This is Aarti and Saurabh from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.